Hello and welcome back to the Old School Iron Man series. And today we are continuing the Slayer grind. Kind of uh, topical, we are on our Dust Devil task. Uh, the task we left off Slayer last time. And in just a couple more casts of Ice Blitz, we're going to get up to 79 Slayer. So six levels to go until we have the ability to get an Abyssal Whip. I love these uh, Dust Devil tasks, especially when you can get some nice Choke Devil spawns. Like this one gave me a Totem Piece, 80 Chaos Runes back, and like 8k coins. It's funny, I went through the whole process of like, oh my god, I need to camp the Catacombs in order to get my three Ancient Shards for my Arclight so then I can kill Black Demons. I don't even have a Black Demon task yet, and I just got three more Ancient Shards on this uh task so it's like it wasn't even a problem i should have just unblocked them right away that was one long hysporica 135 what do we get are we gonna get the bottomless compost bucket no but two isor seeds hey lizard man task number three let's get our hammer and that is a another task done i killed one extra for good luck oh and it was a rune war hammer that would have been really cool if we had gotten it. We had another task done. We killed 91, or I guess 92 Lizardmen. Our total kill count's now up to like 325, 326-ish. So one sixteenth of drop rate. One of the advantages of playing this account really slowly is that I can tears runecrafting basically uh, another week. And we're up to 58 runecrafting. 300 tasks down, get our nice little bonus 450 points. Uh, not too shabby. Uh, but let's see what our next task is going to be. 168 fire giants, nice little AFK task. Had both a medium and a hard clue, so let's see if we get anything good. I think the main thing I want from hards are the dehyde bodies, or dehyde legs, because of the nerf to black dehyde, the ancients are actually better. Uh, medium, we literally got trash. And hard clue, look at that, we got an armor dehyde body and a master clue. And an armor page, is that a unique armor page? We now have two pieces of the armor book. Page four, page three. Uh, now let's compare the stats on the black dehyde body and the ancient dehyde body. So, I get plus one prayer, plus 25 stab, plus 9 crush, plus 15 crush, plus 5 magic, and plus 5 range defense. This is going to be huge for our lizard minute shaman grind, if only the one prayer point that's going to actually um, save us a lot of stuff, and then when we get into higher level content where we're actually taking damage, um, or like when we're doing Slayer where they attack with like magical melee, this is going to be really big for us. So I am super happy <laughs> with this. Huge. Oh, I'm just doing this puzzle, and I realize I'm an idiot. I have to wear Shazian armor for the liz Lizardman Shaman grind, so I can't even wear the armor, uh, armor dehyde. So it's going to be mostly just for Slayer right now. And we drop the Master. We need a Dragon Two-Hander, Bandos Boots, and Obsidian Cape. I could maybe get the Obsidian Cape. Bye-bye, <laughs> Master. I saw this one coming. As is typical, I've been waiting all day for this uh, level 80 Slayer, and I miss it. Uh, that unlocks Necrils, which is another burst task. I'm kind of excited uh, to get to them. Um, but yeah, we're just grinding away, working our way towards 87 Slayer. And I'm going to go ahead and preemptively purchase the extended Necrils task. Um, and I'll probably do that for Abbey Demons and Krakens when I uh, unlock them. Okay, very first kill. I got a Rune Warhammer. It's going to be one of those days. There is 76 range, another level gained at Shaman's. I actually forgot to bring any food with me on this trip, and we've now killed, what is that, 22? Uh, and I've barely taken any damage. The only time I take damage is, if it happens to be right when he jumps, is when I look away from the screen. Yeah, I kind of like these. Only problem is it's like pretty high intensity. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that was such a, oh, such a spoiler, or not spoiler, but like, oh, I thought we got it for a second there. The green text, the dragon at the front, oh my god. Oh, another one. 
Yo, this is the same task, and we got another dragon fruit seed. Oh, at least this time, like, I knew it was too long, so it couldn't be it. But still, <laughs> oh no. And we're able to finish the rest of the Slayer task without any craziness. Uh, yeah, fire runes to end it off. Killed 107 Lizardmen. And we've completed 304 tasks in a row. Uh, looking at this guy, we have now killed... 436 Lizardmen Shaman. Almost 10% of the way to the drop rate. Got ourselves an Aberrant Spectre task uh, from Steve over here, and that means we get to try out our Arma Dehyde body, which has slightly better defensive stats. And if we have slightly better defensive stats, that means, uh, very simply, we uh, take less damage, so maybe we can survive a little bit longer here and use less food. Definitely a success with the Arma Dehyde. I can feel and see... Uh, the difference we're getting a lot more kills per food use. So do your clues. That's a reminder to myself as well, because so often I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this clue. And the Aberrant Spectre is done. That was 178. And I did it in three trips with this new armor. So I think that probably would have taken me like three and a half trips before. Um, so saving food, taking a lot less damage. Thank you, Hard Clues. So we are out of Carambons, and I don't have much other food, so I went ahead and fished another 2,600 raw Carambons, uh, which we're going to go ahead now and cook here at the Hasidious place. Our cook rate's like 90-ish um, percent, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to get up to 80 here with what we have banked. I think it'll be close, and with that, we'll be able to uh, cook sharks. And as expected, we got level 80 cooking, which means we can cook sharks. I think I have, like, yeah, I have 45 more raw carom ones, so I timed that out pretty perfectly. And cooked-wise, we now have 2.3k, uh, so that should last us quite a while. I think maybe that'll get us all the way to 85, Slayer. Uh, maybe not all the way up to 87, though. HP level 87, uh, getting there. We're working our way to our next 90 combat skill, but that gave us over 104 combat level. Very nice. This is starting to become a joke. It seems like every Koenar task is Dagonoth somewhere. This time it's on Waterbirth Island, so we're gonna head out there. And a cool little trick is I'm gonna teleport to my house, and I have a lunar portal here. And then what I can do is I can talk to a banker or attempt to bank and they're going to be like, oh, you don't have a seal of passage. And then they send you to Fremnik land and now I can come over to here and teleport to Waterbirth Island. So it's just a, a quick way uh, to get to Waterbirth without needing to swap over to Lunars to teleport here. Owner tasks looking good. Uh, 90 more points. And we also... Got a medium clue. I actually didn't even check to see if we could do that. Probably should have before the task was over. Um, but yeah, we can just go right to the Falador party room. I love my house. A medium casket to break up the monotony of Slayer. Are we going to get Ranger Boots? We got a miter. I'm pretty sure I need that for a future hard clue stash. No, it's an elite clue. Uh, that's the Shadow Dungeon one I dropped right after I completed Barrows. Uh, so that I, I now have everything for that step because I have the rune crossbow, I have the climbing boots, and now I have a miter. One thing I'm going to preemptively buy is the bigger black demon task. Only costs 100 points, and uh, it's been about 50 tasks, I want to say. I think I had like 250 when I unblocked black demons. And uh, we still do not have a black demon task, which I kind of want to get onto the Zenite grind, but haven't been able to yet. Uh, anyways, our Slayer level's 80, and this 99 Worm task is coming up. 81 Slayer. Slayer levels are coming in not too fast anymore. It's now like a couple days, if not like a week between levels. Um, but yeah, we're working our way up to 85. We have, what, like a million experience to go? 95 Strength. Ugh. It's another long level. Our next one's down 900k XP. No! No! 
Oh, uh, it's the curved bone from the Lizardman Shamans. It's the exact same drop rate. Ugh. I don't even want it's it's construction XP, so I'm gonna pick it up, but I don't know if I even want it. Oh, that could have been the hammer! My word, uh, that is our first ever Black Demon task. It's 250. Is that the maximum number? I, I want to look this up. Yeah, it is the maximum number. When you have the extension on like I do, it rolls between 200 and 250. So it's time to finally kill some demonic gorillas. Over the course of our Slayer adventure, we picked up seven extra ancient shards. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use them on here. And we have a total of 3,000 charges on our arc light now, which is going to be uh, super important for this task. And should we run out of charges uh, on this Black Demon test? I have eight Dark Totems here, uh, which I can go ahead and uh, use to get more Ancient Shards uh, from Scotizo. So this is our demonic setup. We have on our Arclight um, and our Mage Defense Armor. Um, because I don't have any like strength boosting melee stuff like I put on a Fighter Torso as a swap, but I don't own one, nor do I own Bandos or Obsidian. On top of that, I have all my best in slot gear, and the only thing we're switching is the Rune Crossbow and the Ava's Accumulator to go over to ranged, and then Arclight back to Fire Cape. I could also bring a range shield, but I decided against that uh, for my own ease. Here we go. There are six total unique items here. Uh, the five pieces of the ballista, well, the three pieces of the ballista, and then one of each frame, uh, which are all pretty rare items that we don't care too much about. But the Zenite shard is what we're after. We need a total of four of these to craft the four uh, Zenite pieces of jewelry, and the drop rate for each of these is one in 300. So we're likely to have to do like 1,200, 1,300, maybe even 1,500 of these kills in order to get all four of them. And these Zenites are basically the Hydrixes of old school. I am not good at Demonic Gorillas, at least not yet. I had some experience on Leagues, but that isn't really comparable. They're kind of like Tormented Demons in the fact that when you deal a certain amount of damage, in this case 50, you need to swap Offensive Styles because they swap their protection prayer to match what you're currently using. At the same time, after three zero hits on you, the demonic gorilla will change its attack style, so it's a lot of switching between prayers, gear, and dodging the mechanics. You can still somewhat game the system by figuring out what the next style is going to be if the attack is with major range and you are out of melee distance. Once the third zero happens, it's either going to stay still or run towards you. If it runs towards you, then it's going to be melee, and if it stays still, it's going to be the other of major range, whichever it wasn't currently using. With time and better gear, I'll get better at these guys, but for now, it's 10 kill trips. A dragon scimitar? I feel... Is that 1 in 100? I think that's 1 in 100. Uh, but it'll be a nice little out... Uh, was that 60k cash? Yeah, 60k cash for us. There is 77 range. I'm not able to talk while doing this very well because <laughs> it takes a lot of effort. We're on melee one. It's going to be the second melee hit. And that's the third melee hit. So we swap to missiles. Uh, and he chose to do mage. So that's one splash. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Zenite shard. Zenite oh my god. We're such a spoon. Yes. <laughs> Yes, okay, I need to get my prayer on here, uh, make sure I don't die, but holy crap, we are a spoon. Okay, that was kill count 32, really 36, because there was four that I killed that had already been tagged and I got no loot from. Funnily enough, we're not even all that close to being able to use the Zenite. Uh, my crafting level is 86, and for jewelry, we need to get up to uh, 89, 92, 95, or 98 to use it. Uh, we can boost plus four, so you can take all of those off. Like, I can make the Zenite ring right now. Uh, I can make a Zenite necklace, because I have that XP bank. But for the bracelet and the amulet, we don't have the actual crafting level banked. In terms of my first one, I think my first one is going to be the Anguish. Um, 
The Ring of Suffering only comes into play once I go to Zora, and it's mostly quality of life. And Anguish will really help me um, get more Zenites quicker, and then I can have the bracelet, the ring, and all that sort of stuff. But on the other side, uh, we need to get up to 93 to get level 7 enchant, and we're currently 84. Um, I can boost plus 4 with this, and just because I, I haven't picked up a imbued heart yet, um, but I have a magic potion that I can boost plus 4, which means I need to get up to 89, and 89 is uh, quite high. It's like 5, yeah, like 5 million XP, so I need to gain another 1.9 mil magic. Uh, in order to get up there and if we do get enough burst tasks by the time we're 87 slayer we might be able to uh use a zenite and then last of all we need an onyx because you combine the zenite with an onyx to create the actual gem and uh we don't have an onyx in the bank so maybe i'll go back to barrows to get that once i get 87 and a trident but for now it just goes in my loot tab it's been quite a while since I gained a level, but here is 72 Hunter. Uh, I don't think that actually unlocks anything, but I am kind of reshifting my focus over to the Fossil Island here because I have really not done seaweed runs in forever. If we look in the bank, we have 2200 giant seaweed and about 20,000 multi glass. And if we do that all with light orbs, that's about 2.9 million experience, uh, which would get us up to 92 crafting. But I really want to get up to 94 uh, banks so that it gives me the flexibility of choosing which one of these uh, Zenites I get first. I'm leaning Anguish, uh, which I definitely already have banked, but uh, I just want that flexibility. So I'm going to be coming here and doing seaweed runs as much as I possibly can. It's now been 100 kills of these demonic gorillas. We're uh, getting through this task. And how many charges have I used on my arc light? I've used just over a thousand. So that means I'm using about like 10 charges a kill. So we should have like 300 or 400 charges uh, left at the end of this task and there is 82 slayer and we picked up a uc that would have been uh fun to get the second zenite there uh but we don't have our second zenite yet we still have 90 to go on this task so maybe we'll be uh lucky enough oh shit that's a unique light frame unfortunately we did not get a zenite when we got the next drop oh shit ballista limbs that is another item on the Zenite drop table. I think this one is 1 in 500. Let me check. Yeah, 1 in 500. Wait, another set of limbs? This is like 30 kills later. Not even. This is the next trip, I think. Or two trips. Feels like it's been a decade since I started this, but finally our Slayer task is done. I think this took me like three or four days of basically hardcore playing. Uh, we killed a total of 250 of them. We gained 100,000 experience in Slayer, which is saying a lot. Like, we got 82 Slayer on this task, 77 ranged, 78 ranged, and 88 HP. So picked up a uh, bunch of levels. We'll get out of here before we die. Uh, Loot-wise, we got a lot. I'll pull it up on screen. It says only 240 kills, even though I killed 250. Uh, and that's because there was a lot of kills where the demonic gorilla was already tagged and at half HP. And because I'm an Iron Man, I got no loot. I think one of the biggest things we got out of this, apart from that whole Zenite, was um, our cash stack. We were like just over 4 mil when this task started. And now we're up to 5.8 mil. And I also have a couple stacks in here. Um, if we look at our rune javelin head stacks, if we were to alk that, that would be another 631k. And our dragon javelin heads are another 290k. So we have another mill here. So all good and dandy. But it's been long enough. Let's see what our next slayer task is going to be. And 146k pours. I'll take that. That one will take me like 20 minutes to do or 30 minutes to do. Not 
30 days. Uh, one last thing, we ended up using uh, almost 2.8k charges on an arc light. So next time we get a black demon task, we'll have to use these dark totems uh, to get some ancient shards and uh, um, stock up our arc light. Six step hard clue, but we got it without much issue. Uh, let's see what we get. I think this is our like 10th hard clue. Oh, I got a master. Um, rune battle axe. Let's see before we open the elite whether I can do this master. Uh, 100 plus attack, magic attack bonus needed. I don't think I can get that. So I have plus 99 uh, right now, and I'm trying to see if there's anything in the bank uh, in my gear setup that gives me more uh, magic bonus. We go an Aram's Hood. It's actually paying off. So we're plus 101. And we can do this step. Well, at least I can say I completed one step of a master clue. And that's it. Uh, I don't think I can do Dig in the Onion Patch east of the Cryptinus allotments. Uh, as I don't have proof yet. But without further ado, let's open this elite casket. It's our third one. We got a dragon necklace, which I guess I can enchant into a skills necklace, some tuna potato for food, and some nice alks with a rune kite shields. And with those clues done and our demonic task done, we're going to end off this episode here. We made some progress getting up to 82 Slayer. We have about 700, 800k more experience to go for the whip. And I think we've basically exhausted every new Slayer creature except for except for Necreals. So I think next episode I'll be able to get all the way from 82 to 85 to unlock our whip. But the total level is getting up there. We're up to 1855. But again, if you like the series, drop a like on the video. It really helps it out. If you want to get notified when the next episode comes out, subscribe to the channel. But past that, have a good day, and I'll catch you in the next one.